Hello, today I want to have some fun. I want to share with you some postings I have put on Facebook and just to see the kind of things that I think about. So I'm going to just read these along and just, just talk about the things that uh, came to my mind. Now, last thing I posted was a line that said, it says, did you hear about the fool who called the radio station and requested the new version of Blurred Lines? You know, that's a video, right? So to me, that seemed funny that a person would call and request a new version on the radio. Next thing, I said, how long will it take for us to realize that technology is a good slave, but a bad master? It's true, technology is overtaking us. Okay, also I posted here, the ones in the arena make more than the ones in the stands altogether. It's true, talking about the fact that we love sports so much, but the people who are inside the arena make a lot more than us who are watching all together. Something to think about. Here's one. I said, man can punish you for what you say. God can punish you for what you think. But no one can judge you for what you dream. That's true. Your dreams are your own. No one judges you for your dreams. Funny. Here's one. This is about the Steelers now. I live in Pittsburgh. He says, when the Steelers play, you no longer have to ask who won. Just ask, what was the score? They're playing poorly. Here's one. It says, when a woman sees a man with a toupee and platform shoes, she knows she has spoken to a short, bald man. When a man sees a woman with a wig, a push-up bra, and wearing six-inch stiletto heels, he says he spoke to a tall woman with long hair and large breasts. Why is that? Okay, here's one. It says, some people are just so bad that the only law they haven't broken is the law of gravity. I'm sure you know someone like that. Okay. Here's another one. My observations about things. It says, the only way the police can uphold the law is to break them all. Think about that. Okay. Here's one. It says, sometimes we have to apologize for the dumb stuff we're planning to do. It's important to think ahead. Okay. Here's one. It says, did you ever get tired of spending your whole day fulfilling someone else's purpose and watching others' dreams come true? It's like, you know, we're watching TV all the time or we're doing jobs that we really don't care about. It's like I told someone the other day, I says, I don't want to go to the airport, but you do. That's why I'm driving you. But it's true. How much of our time do we spend doing things that don't matter to us? Okay, here's one about these um, shootings that have been occurring lately. He says, it's sad that in America, people love their guns more than they love one another. That's true. All right. Let's find another one here. Um, the leading cause of death is birth. Think about that. All right. Next one. Okay, I got to go back to my postings. This one here, I like this one a lot. It says, it's not always best to be the smartest person in the room if the room is filled with idiots. Okay, that means you got to find better people to hang out with. And here's another one. It says, in real life, monsters don't try to scare you. They try to entice you. It's true. The things that are going to take you down are not going to be things that scare you. They're things that attract you. Okay? Think about that. Let's find another one. Okay, let's see here. Um, okay, here, this is a good one. It says, All the beauty of the world for me is unknown because all the day long I have my face in my phone. Is that you? Do you spend all your time texting and looking at your phone instead of looking at the world? I've never seen someone walking their dog and they were and they were just texting. I heard a guy the other day, I was in the, the men's room and the phone rang. One of the stalls heard a guy answer. Hey, 
What are you doing? Oh, just on the bathroom. Anyway, here's one. Um, talk about people working. It's time for me to take a non-smoking break. Treat people who smoke get breaks all the time. How about those that don't smoke? Okay. This one I like this one. It says, instead of going to my 25th high school reunion, I'm going to Photoshop my, my picture and send it in with my regrets. Okay? I ain't trying to look away from nobody. Um, here's one. Very important. It says, it's sad to lose an election by one vote because you forgot to vote for yourself. True. Self-importance is something that we can't deny. All right. Uh, let's see here. That one's not uh, important. I'll skip that one. Okay, here's one. It says, instead of trying to be perfect all the time, pick one day in which you would try not to be such a pain in the ass and take it from there. Okay, so having perfect days is a choice. Have perfect life is not it's not possible. Here's one. Remember our strength and not our weakness. It's about 9-11. We need to get back to being a strong country, not being so concerned with one day. Okay, um, I'll find another one. Here's one. This is a good one. I said that losers spend time watching winners. Again, that's about watching TV and looking at people and, and idolizing them for what they have instead of having what you can get for yourself. I think one of the worst things in the world is to buy a fourth magazine and look at all these people who are rich and realize you're not going to be one of those people. Why not go out there and do something for yourself to get on that list? Do people too. Okay, here's one. This is about life. By the time you get around to doing it, you'll be too damn old to enjoy it. Okay, so do it now. And let's find another one. Okay, here's one. It says, we don't expect nations to cease from war. We don't expect the government to stop fighting amongst itself. We don't expect crime to cease or traffic to decrease. We can't even expect our religions to agree. The most we can expect is to have peace in the family. And it all starts at home. All right. And I'll end with this one here. It's a nice one. It says, it's strange that when something good happens, you tell four people. But when something bad happens, you tell ten. Okay. And that is so true. So, you know, learn, learn from these sayings and write things down for yourself. But... I'm saying your life is about how you look at it and what's important to you. And I hope that in your life you can find some some sense of purpose that is, is beyond the, the common, beyond the, the norm, beyond just, um, you know, being born and dying. Make your life something that is worth living. Okay? So until next time, thanks for watching. And have a great day.